Go home to my real job. Oh no, three more. I'm out here. I'm dead meat. I told the chief I wouldn't be any good at this. Now I may never see home again. I can outrun them. If I don't fight back, I'll be destroyed for sure. Wait, this is no different than a video game. Don't be scared. Come on, Linus. That's it. Closer, closer. Now. I did it. Wow, I'm better than I thought. My moves must be radical. Too rad for them. Now the chief scientist will let me come back home and have my old job back. Oh, I hope, 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 I hope. Come on, come on, let's hustle out there, girls. Come on, girls. Get those hands up. Come on, what are you doing out there? Haven't you been listening to anything that I teach you? Come on. Girls, girls, hands up, hands up. Good going. Come on, girls. Come on, come on. Pick the ball up. Woo, good. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Shower. Uh, Mrs. Heller. Mrs. Heller. Oh, Mrs. Heller. Oh, hi, Dr. Jefferson. Oh, thanks so much. Thank you. How are things at home? I, I only ask because uh, home? Joseph oh, is... Home is great. Everything's great. I just have this extra job. You've got to make a little extra... Oh, well, you know, the tide is over while we're waiting for Marshall to get another job. Uh -huh. And how's the job search going? Oh, really very well. You know, he sent out a lot of applications, and we've gotten some really good responses. But, you know, i got to run. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about Joseph. I know. He's been a bit distracted, hasn't he? You know something? I'm not worried about him. He's gonna be fine. Oh, Dr. Jefferson, I have got to go. Yes, I, I know all that. Okay, thanks a lot, Dr. Jefferson. Bye-bye. It's just that lately Joseph has not been applying him. So... Uh, Joseph, Joseph, when am I gonna get your science project? Any, any of the week, I promise. It was due. It was due. All right, you little flea-infested varmints. 
America's Funniest Home Video, take five. Don't forget, first prize, $10,000. Ready? Roll camera. Do I have to, Dad? Yes. Roll camera. You don't thank me when we win. Uh, take five. Uh, roll camera ready and uh, action. Mission accomplished, sir. May I return home now? Minus, you schlep. Turn up the volume on the control panel. Ain't funny. Uh, I'm sorry, Chief Scientist, sir. Uh, well, I not only captured one, I captured four ships for your Save the Species program. May I come home so now? So what you're saying is a bumbling lab assistant capturing four ships instead of one? I don't believe. I'm not really an assistant. I'm the only one who cleans the cages. I'm in charge of it. Just me. Nobody else. I do it all, and I love my job. Minus! I know what you do for a living! Sir, all the specimens are so used to me. I know them all by their first name. I've done this job all Too my life. Too Minus! Stop with the begging transport already! I yes, sir. go on, and with the hand movements... Transporting species samples to Noyan Project Lab 6. And Minus, as a gift for being so successful on your first assignment, here are some of those Meshuggah video game crystals you kids are so crazy for. Oh, my God! Could it be? Oh boy, a video game simulation crystal, Vulcan Warrior Edition. How did you get this? I can't wait to get home and play it. My pleasure! Oh, thank you so much, Chief Scientist, sir. I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. Absorption complete. Oh boy, it's the ultimate, ultimate Vulcan Warrior Galactic Battle Cave game crystal. Please, can I go home now, sir? Hold your voices, Minus. To tell you the truth, some of the boys and I were making bets that you would fail this mission miserably and be out of our hair for good. But who knew you'd be so successful that you'd make fools of all of us? No, 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 you're not fools. I'm the fool. Since you're I such a just... big shot completing missions, I've got another assignment for you right here. But, sir, my department must be falling apart without me. I've got to get back home. Oi, am I talking to myself here? Please, sir, let me go back to my job. Minus, your job is kaput if you don't complete this mission. You understand? Yes, sir. Understood. Okay, Minus. First things first. We're gonna need a specific breeding pair. Specific? After deliberation, we've come to the conclusion that this is the people we want. First, Marshall Heller, a genius. But the people, they don't even give him a second look. His wife is Deborah. She's smart, she's pretty, and I with a mouth on her. And the both of them, they're in tip-top shape. And neither of them smokes or drinks or gambles, and I such beautiful children, such good kids. Minus, you know this is a big, big deal. Can you comprehend what I'm saying to you? Yes, Chief Scientist. I understand my mission, but I know nothing of this planet or its people. Hold on. Here are some information crystals we recorded from the Earth's late night TV transmissions. Study them well. Oh, great. I've heard about the late night TV. This might not be so bad after all. Between these transmissions and my new Vulcan video game crystal, I could have plenty to keep me occupied on the way to Earth. Minus, forget about the Fekakti video games already and concentrate on studying the info crystals. But I could do some studying, then some playing, then maybe a little more studying, then some playing, and then some studying. The shooting a minus! Study the crystals! Oh, okay, everything's under control. I'll do it, no problem. You can count on me, sir. Shall we try this again? America's Funniest Home Videos, take 23. Roll camera. Ready? Action. Cindy, shoot dead. No! Cindy, do what dead says. No, no, no! Come on, Monty, shoot daddy! Monty. Oh, Monty, no, no! Ronnie, no! Monty, My Monty. Is get... Monty. Oh. Monty. <laughs> Hey, it's not my dog, it's Sydney's. Joey, he is your dog. Get him out of here from my own. Monkey! Monkey! Good dad. Monkey! Get him out of here, Monkey! Get him out of here, Stop. This is just great, Marshall. I work two jobs, and I come home to this. Oh, no. I hate going through wormholes. Well, here goes nothing. I owe silver. Right, cowboy. 
And what did that super guy say on that other TV program? Oh, oh yeah, up, up, and away. Yeehaw! Just like the stagecoach chase scene in Ho Wagons West. Boy, I sure am becoming quite a fan of those late night Earth transmissions. Okay, let's see, where are we? Ah, Houston, this is Minus. We have a problem. Repeat, we have a problem. <laughs> video games until we start school. I want to play Nintendo. Well, I tell you what, why don't you, why don't you take Mr. Blue? Yeah, take Mr. Blue upstairs, give him a bath, and when Daddy finishes here, I'm going to take you for a happy meal. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Go ahead now. Go on. Genre. This transmission looks interesting. Hmm. Delivers lots of action and hot babes. Sure to stick it. Sure to start your fire. These Earth people must be starved for action. If this transmission represents the kind of violence indicative to this society, I'm gonna need my Recisitron right by my side at all times. Never leave home without it. <laughs> it's showtime. You think you're better than me. Seven down and six to go. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your hats as you're about to witness history in the making. It looks as though rapid Roy Thompson is about to successfully deliver 13 pizzas in 30 minutes. Previous record of 11 held by Crash Nygaard is about to fall. <laughs> Uh-oh. What the hell? A perfect disguise. TV food transport boy. Mmm. 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 Well, it's not Civicon, but it'll do. Pizza, pizza. <laughs> Marshall, did you hear back from any of those jobs you sent your resume to? No. Well, what are we gonna do? Well, I'll think of something. Thinking doesn't pay the bills. Joey? Joey, I need to talk to you. Joey! What is it with the men in this family? Men. Send her in, Edna. Hey. 
Hello, Larry. Penny? You owe me, Larry. Just not sold on the idea, Penny. Dr. Jefferson's research is very... Hush, hush. Getting the story could be dangerous, and it would be safer if it were covered by, uh... Um... Oh, a man? Listen, Larry, this is my story. I've researched this guy. I know everything about him. Who he works with, who he talks to, everything about their families and where they live. Besides that, Larry, you know I can get more out of this poindexter than those hacks Dobbs and Thompson ever in a million yeah, years. Yeah, but Dobbs and Thompson are more seniority than you. Oh, than I do. Oh. No, Larry, come on. Besides, who runs this rag, huh? You or those gin soap poker playing pals of yours? I do, I, uh, I think. Good. Then, can I have the story, Larry? Can I? Huh? Oh, yeah. Yes! Mm! Thanks. Besides, those rummies couldn't focus long enough to write a menu. You're uh, the best. Uh, just one condition there, Penny. Sure, Larry. Anything. Edna. Yeah? Send that, uh, idiot cousin of mine in here on the double. Sorry it took so long. I was, uh, on assignment. Hello, Penny. No. No, Larry. No, Larry. Uh, excuse me. Sesame. The suburbs. This must be it. Now, the sooner I get done with this mission, the sooner I can go back home to my real job at the lab. According to the numbers on these dwellings, this is the Heller family residence. I can't just leave my ship sitting here. I'll hide it in this large tree. Hey, son, come here. I'll show you something. Joey, Joey, come here. Hurry up. Huh? Come here. Oh, sorry, Dad. Come on, come on. I want to show you something. Look at this. Look at this. You see this exhaust intake valve? Yeah. It's one of the smallest units in this engine, but because the material that it was constructed of, it couldn't withstand the elements of the heat and cold, caused the whole system to shut down, all of it. You know what I'm getting at here? Yeah, even if the smallest part of the engine's malfunctioning, the whole engine's worthless. Sort of. It's just that sometimes it's necessary to separate yourself from a specific problem, take a look at it above and below, and lay back and picture it overall view and to solve that problem you need to proceed in a logical sequence step by step ultimately ultimately arriving at the proper solution that's good 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 stuff on huh? yeah it's cool hey can i ask you something dad go ahead isn't that the zero emissions idea that south Rube scrapped and got you laid off that is it why are you working on something that doesn't work well son it, it's it's always worked then why'd you get fired It saves money. I don't understand. Well, you will someday. Well, I'll be up in my room. Okay? okay. Get out of here. Yeah, uh, uh, oops, my disguise. Beat the guy. <laughs> oh, I, I... Did we order pizza? Yes, ma'am. Well, come in. I, I, I'll get some cash. <laughs> what was that? Where... What is this? Oh. <gasps> pizza girl. Yes. How, how, how much? Please. Hmm. <laughs> Boy, that was easy. Good. Marshall, Heller, and White successfully decide. Now I'll just grab them, get back to my ship, and I'll be back home in no time. Now come to minus, you little specimen, you. Come to minus. Uh, Whoa. Well. Oh, 
no, he's going for my resize and draw. Cindy, give mommy the Nintendo. No. Come on, sweetheart, give mommy the Nintendo. No. Cindy, do what mommy says. No. Come on, Cindy, give mommy the Nintendo. No! Oh, come on, Cindy. Give Mommy the Nintendo. No! Do as Mommy says. No! Oh, no. That wasn't part of the plan. I won! I won, Nintendo, I won! Please, don't hurt my family. Oh, I would never harm anyone. Who are you? Oh, nobody special. Just minus. Just minus? Yeah, just minus. Nothing else, just minus. You mean like Cher, Madonna, Sting? Where are you from? I'm proud to say I'm annoying. I know you're annoying, but where are you from? From the planet Noya. Near the 14th quadrant and 55th vertical. You know, just down from the Andromedaic Optatorium. Huh? What? Never mind that. We have to get my resizatron back from your daughter before she causes any Ow, more damage. you're hurting me! Joey's not gonna believe this. He's just not gonna believe Joey, I won! Cindy, you better not be playing with my... What the? My Nintendo, I win! Cindy, what are you talking about? I won Nintendo! Let me see that Nintendo, Cindy. No. Um... I, I'll give it right back, okay? Only if show you Nintendo. Promise? I promise. Okay, let me see that. Cool. Monty? No. 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 No, Monty. No! 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 No, Monty! Sit! You stay! Uh, stay away! No! Uh, no, no, no! Uh, I can't breathe in here! Uh, let me out! Uh, 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 Monty, you're in big trouble! Downstairs. I don't care. What the heck? Mobius. Mobius Jefferson, the scientist who's doing secret research on nanorobots. 
building them one molecule at a time. We're gonna do an expose on him, win an award, remember? Jacuzzi for you, Porsche for me. So it's Mobius. What happened to Nanook? Ah, nobody cares about the American Indian anymore. <laughs> Dad! What? what? It's covered. Oh, well, now what? I don't know, I'm thinking. Ding, 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 ding. Ba -da 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 -da. Cindy, where did you get this, uh, thing? From the pizza guy. Pizza guys don't go around. He did, and I want him always shrink. Cindy. I'll show you. Don't... I saw it. She was mommy sized. Then she got like smaller and smaller and smaller. And then smaller. Okay, where is. Not up there, down here. So, where is she now? Somewhere else. Cindy, it's just a bug. Nuh uh, mommy, Nintendo. Joey! Joey! Joey, we're Mom? here! Get out, Joey! I told you. you. You wouldn't happen to know where Dad is, would you? Nintendo! Come on, Cindy. Where? We're gonna go to the high school. We're gonna go talk to Dr. Jefferson. Mommy and Daddy? Yeah, we're gonna need some help. So, after the second grade, I joined the circus with my Uncle Vito. You see, my body was really, really tiny, but my head, my head was huge. I mean, it was enormous. It was, well, to tell you the truth, I looked like a giant lollipop. I mean, I was fall down over the... What? Someone's there. Who is it? How do I know? It's Elvis. Oh, yeah? Hey, you think ghosts can make noise? There's only this, nothing more. Nobody's home, nobody's home, let's go! Wait! Good heavens, it's not even quite late afternoon yet. Well, then it can't be a raven. Well, come in, come in. Uh, Dr. Mobius Jefferson at your service. Now, to whom do I owe the pleasure of this visit? It's about my mom and dad. Ah, yes, your parents. How are they? Top-notch people, you know. Well... Mommy and Daddy got Nintendo! I beg your pardon? Uh, well, sir, it's kind of weird. I think it might have something to do with this. I see. Where did you get this? Nintendo. Cindy found it. She thinks it's some kind of Nintendo game. It is. I won. It made mommy small. 
Curious. There appears to be some kind of a fingerprint on the surface of this object, and yet, most assuredly, it's not human. What? There's no apparent reaction. I can't quite figure out what this alloy is. Back off, Junior! I want to hear too. Just wait! I can't wait! I need you! I've never quite seen anything like it. What do you... Uh, hypothetically, you see, um, given the crude preliminary tests that I've done, uh, from all appearances, this would be pure silicon. And yet there's nothing of this construction in existence. But... Not on this planet. You mean... Bango! My 19! No, you idiot! Nano and aliens in one day, my esteemed colleague were about to be made. I love you. There, I said it. Oh, I'm so relieved. Disgusting! Oh. No, 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 no. I didn't mean it. Well, children, should we take a nice excursion to your home? Yeah, I want to go home. Hey, that's cool. What's that stuff you just put in your pocket? Um, <clears throat> sometimes, my young friend, curiosity and danger go hand in hand. Uh, let's just say for now that um, it would be most unfortunate if what I have in my pocket should end up in someone else's pocket. Yeah, I got you. Come along, come along. Junior, can you get it up? Yes, I can. Well, come on! Oh, sure. Uh-huh. Uh, yes. Are you gonna break in? I'm not breaking in. It's already open. Now give me a boost. Give me a boost. Come on. Push! 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 Push, Junior! Push. No! What the? Nintendo! This must work by motion. Sure I am. And what do you want with us? My mission is to transport you to the Species Study Sanctuary back home on the planet Noya. Why? To ensure the survival of a violent life form for a future study. What if we don't want to go? You cannot refuse. This is for the greater good of the universe. Besides, it's much nicer there than here. Oh. Howdy, partner. Yuck! Oh, hairy legged, disgusting. Ugh. <sighs> I couldn't kill that even if I had a fly swatter. A what? A fly swatter! Isn't that a barbaric instrument of death that squashes the life out of innocent flying victims whose only crime was being born? It is a hairy, disgusting, disease-ridden insect. It breeds millions of times. But don't you realize that all life is precious, Deborah Heller? Maybe. Some is just more precious than others. Hey, sister, you've got a lot to learn about the balance of the universe. J.W., J.W., we're in the money here. I want you to get a picture of everything, okay? The goggles, all the equipment, the candles, the tubes, the jars, the microscope. Just get it all, okay? Don't mess up! I have to wash my hands. I feel so dirty. Hello? Cutbacks everywhere. <laughs> okay, baby, here we go now. Work with me. Gotcha, big green. There you go. You're a beauty. Get the goggles. Gotcha, gotcha. Blue, blue's good. Glove, blue, get the gloves. I got the gloves, baby. All right, flicker. Can you flicker for me? There you go, bobbing and waving. Let me try that. Ha <laughs> 
Well, well, well. You're good with Nintendo. Thanks. I'm worried about Mom and Dad. Uh, yes, you're quite right. Come, let's go, let's go. And after third grade, I was sent to live with a family of migrant farm workers. Well, that was really terrific. <laughs> Okay, you gotta get pictures of this, all right? Okay. What is that smell? I don't know. All right, I'm just gonna try to figure out how to get in. Oh, no. What? I believe someone's trying to break into my safe. We better call the police. There's no time for that now, son. I knew this day would come. I always knew this day would come. Booby trapped. Oh no! Let's get out of here. Hey, 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 hey. I'll go first. <laughs> Noya, hello. Whatever. The video transmissions from your planet, although entertaining and lots of fun, point to the eventual destruction of your entire race. Haven't you ever seen the Dukes of Hazard? Don't you ever watch late night video programs? Video? You mean television? Of course. The visual chronological representation of your society and its heroes. You know, Dirty Harry, Rambo, Superman, The Lone Ranger, Lassie, G.I. Joe, 007, Ronda Shear. But that's not reality. But Spock, what is reality? This is an unpredictable planet. Just about anything could happen here. So, you want to take us to this sanctuary? You know it, sister. And we will be traveling to a better place. <laughs> a better place is where you go when you die. We prefer to stay here. Unacceptable. Now we need to enter your television, which will act as my silicon power base, so I can complete my mission. 4709 Walnut. Why 4709? Because, you moron, that's where those two little lawn apes that were yakking with the professor live. You know, you probably maybe saved my life back there. Does my closeness make you feel uncomfortable? Yes! And all I did was get out of a room that was telling me it was going to explode, and you jumped in front of me to save your own butt. Now you've saved my life. And in some parts of the world, that would mean that I'd be obligated to you for life. Your only obligation is to make sure there's film in that camera, take some pictures, and leave me alone. OK, but I was just wondering, do you think that a gentle, hardworking, simple life kind of guy, like myself, could ever, like, stand a chance with a beautiful, sharp, voluptuous? Yes. Oh, yes. You were the only man on Earth. Gee, your hair smells terrific. OK, I understand. What was that number again? All right, Cindy, dear. You tell me once again exactly where you think you nintendo your mummy. Right here. Right here? Hmm. Hey, wait. Yes? Dad's work table is missing. It was right over there. Hmm. Perhaps whoever this belongs to possibly not only shrunk the work table, but your father along with it. Come, let's have a look. Yeah. It was right here. Hello. Did 
you hear something? Look! Over here! Good heavens! Here, Joseph, hold this. I must have a closer look. Over here! Mr. Heller, Mr. Get back down! No, 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 my own strength. He was here a second ago. I don't know where he went. Cindy, come on, run! Run! <laughs> Professor, what are you doing here? You may have noticed we have a very serious problem here. My family's in big trouble. I'm not quite sure how to get them to safety. Yes, I agree. We've got quite a problem. However, Young Joseph is a very resourceful young man, and moreover, he does have control of the size-altering device. We have to do something. Well, perhaps we should conceal ourselves. After all, they may be back with no idea of what their intentions are. I have an idea. Why don't we go to my workbench? All right. You have any theories on their shrinking process? Yes, as a matter of fact, quite a few. Young man, we are official government agents, and um, right. I suggest that you turn that thing over to us right now. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> no one will get hurt. <laughs> hey, what's that behind you? <laughs> you are so lame. I am not. R2. Hey, I'm working here. Do you mind? Look over there. What? <laughs> sister first. No, you first. You first. You first. You first. You first. Save time. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. So, you're a design engineer, eh? That's right, automotive. Mm. And you are nanotechnology, correct? Molecular robotics. Hold on. Wait a minute. I need to get something out of the pocket of my lab coat. Yes. Oh, my. Joey, you're strong. Nah, it's like Dad said. I, I just took their size advantage and made it my advantage. Huh? Well, yeah, I guess I'm strong. Um, anyway, son, thanks for your help. You did good. Joey, I'm tired. Can I sleep in your bed? Well, I guess so. Joey, I want Mommy. I'm gonna go look for Mommy right now. Understand is why you were let go of the engine actually. Professor, it's, it's simple. I gave eight years of painstaking trial and error to perfect it, for which I was promptly fired. Everything was fine as long as it was sucking up grants and tax loopholes for the corporation. I mean, God forbid if it should really work, who would want an engine that burns 400 miles to the gallon and never breaks down? <laughs> of course. 
You're convinced it'll work. Oh, I am absolutely positive. I have done extensive testing, and I have not stopped my research since they fired me. I'm just looking for a system of production, that's all. All right, son. Listen, we're here. Let me give you a boost, and God forbid, don't look down. Oh, my. All right, here you ready? Yes. One, two, three. And upsy daisy. Whoop, watch your step. Mmm, what an aroma. Mmm, what a smell. Ah. Impure, but they will do. What? Silicon chips. I love the smell of them in the morning. They remind me of home. Really? And I bet you miss it, too. I do. So, I tell you what. Let's find my son. What? He'll fix us. And then I'll go back to my two jobs, and you can go back to your planet, where I am sure they miss you a whole lot. Oh, you don't understand. I can't do that. Oh, no, 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 no. Why? Because the chief scientist will be extremely upset, and I'll lose my job at the lab. Careful. Marshal! I see the vial! It's right here! Easy, easy. Okay. Watch out! Here it comes! How about a bunch of virtual reality wasps from Revenge of the Wasp Queen to help me get my Recisatron back? Weapon. Come on. Huh. He's good. Oh, I'm tough. There you go. Real good. Oh, okay. Too good. Uh. Yeah. <sighs> ah, I can't keep this up. Your son is a worthy opponent, more powerful than a Jedi Knight. And I think I'm stuck. <laughs> Good job, Marshal. Oh, yes. Well, there it all is. Molecular robotics with artificial intelligence. No one's ever seen this stuff before but me. No. Yes. Yeah. Let's take up some of that. All right, let's get it over your wood lab. Yes. seems to be intact. There's no particular damage that I can detect. Come, have a look. Yes. Oh, my. That's very impressive. Very shiny, very mobile. How fast can they move? Well, as fast as your eye can see, if that's what you program them for. However, these are programmed to eat plutonium. You see, I wanted to attack all the toxic waste dumps in the world, hoping to clean up the entire mess. Well, can they be programmed to eat anything? Yes, you simply incubate another batch of it in the substance that you want them to eat. Now, these can consume their entire weight a million times over, every nanosecond, mm. and reproduce a nano just like themselves. Of course, you've got to build in a stop sequence. Otherwise, they're likely to eat up all of that particular substance in the entire world. Anyway, there you have it. The crowning achievement of my entire life. What a boon for mankind. I mean, they are absolutely beautiful. Well, not exactly. You see, form follows function. And without function, there can be no beauty. So what's the problem? I believe it has to do with resistance. You see, I need an element that will allow a very tiny current to go along its own path without impeding the path of electrons orbiting the molecule. Can the impulse be amplified? Uh, I don't know. It's feasible? Yes, I think it's possible. Well, yeah, it's possible. Well, if it can be amplified, they could be stroked. Using the modulator from my engine, you could sync it to any impulse you choose. This will allow the electron to arrive at an open electronic gate, which will close after you pass through it. My golly, 
I do believe you've given new life to my near once dead creation. <laughs> well, that's not the real question. What is that damn alien made of? Silicone, I believe. At least that's what I detected from a fingerprint I took off the size altering device. You know what I'm afraid of is that device is capable of doing much, much more. And we're going to have to program it to eat silicone as fast as possible. Exactly. I hope that we're not too late in doing it. Mm -hmm. Get to work then. Absolutely. Okay. Come. Go ahead. Here. This. Got this. Deborah, your efforts are futile. Don't waste your breath. He can't hear you. Ooh, pain, reverting to pupae state. Ah. <laughs> You're not so tough now, are you, buddy? <laughs> Must revert back. What was that? That was a right cross. Not quite as effective as an uppercut. Ah. Is Much more violent? powerful than the jail! Oh, what is the meaning of this primitive outburst? What, anger? You put a label on it and that makes it okay? You mean you never get angry on your planet? Our planet is civilized, unlike yours. Oh, that tears it. Put up your dukes. Dukes? You mean the dukes of Hazard? <laughs> Yikes, this is totally unacceptable. Unacceptable? I got your unacceptable right here, buddy. Get with the program. But all forms of physical violence and oppression were eradicated from my planet eons ago, Miss Golden Gloves. So, are you telling me that on your planet there is no such thing as fighting? Right on, my sister. Nobody has thrown a bunch on my planet for years. <laughs> Welcome to suburbia. How can I get Mom away from that alien? What does Dad always say? Logic, 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 logic. Separate yourself from the problem and examine it from all sides. Above, beneath. Beneath. Very lucky. That's what I can tell you. What are we doing in this tree? I just told you that kid was very lucky. Just give me another chance. I'll murderize him. I'll pulverize him. I may even have to hurt that kid. Shut up! Hey, you know sometimes you can be a little bit rude. Did you hear that? Listen. What? That. Uh, hey. A hum. Duh. Sounds like it's coming from this tree. Tree. <laughs> Come on, Junior, go uh, investigate. I'm okay. I'm not scared. Chicken. I'm not chicken. This is a good branch. You can see a lot from here. Come on, come All right. on. Move it. All right. Pushy, you're like my mother. I hate her. Whoa. Go, oh, boy. Go. That's bad. This is bad. No, go. All right, I got go. it. I got it. Right from there. I can hear it. I can hear it. You know, I'm stocky yet agile. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be good. Wow. Look at this. Ah, oh! Come on. Ben, you ain't gonna believe this. GW, this is it. We've made it. We're gonna be rich. We're gonna be famous. I'm beginning to like you. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Junior? I didn't do it. Huh? Yeah. Uh, okay. Good. Little left. Little left.
I'll just shrink myself twice. Okay, let me tell you what's gonna happen. We are gonna find my son, he's gonna make us normal size, and you are gonna behave yourself or I'm gonna send you to a better place. Your reaction is ignorant, irrational, and uncivilized. Oh, and abducting us to another planet is not. What about your zoos? What about your aquariums? And what about your animal preserves? What about them? They ensure the continuation of certain species. Yes, that's precisely my point, my dear. We are not talking about people here. Oh, but I am, sweetie. Ow, 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 ow. Uh-huh. They just a little tweak. Adjust the resistor. That's it. My Joe Marshall, I do believe you've got something there. Eh? Well, this has to work, Professor. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Belay that order, mister. Hey, hey, I'm talking to you. Belay and walk away. That's right. That's right. Damn the torpedoes. Hoist the colors. 30 degrees, port starboard. Full dead ahead. Flying speed. Shiver me timbers. <laughs> Gopher to the bridge, please. Gopher to the bridge, please. Look out! <laughs> yeah. Used to be some kind of mucus. I see, huh? Well, you're not gonna get me now. You're not gonna get. Alrighty, you're good. You're very good. I admit it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, that now. Oh boy, that's bad. Oh. Asteroid kamikaze, sir. Eh, crazy. But we've only just begun to fight. <laughs> ah. oh, oh. This is the captain. We have been hit. I repeat, we have been hit. Check for fire in the sphincter. Check for fire in the sphincter. You may think you have me now, Mr. Man. <laughs> but I've souped up this baby with a few surprises of my own, and we will never, never, never give up. <laughs> Hello. Hey, how you doing? Having fun? Hell yeah, this is great. J.W., we're sitting on the biggest story of the 20th century, and you're over here playing Luke Skywalker! Sorry. Oh, don't touch that. It's eat us. <sighs> Just take the pictures, OK? Pictures! Okie dokie. <laughs> I can fly this baby, though. <laughs> how, how, how? What? Uh, nothing. Good. Oh. And don't touch anything. It could explode. Ooh, hey. You're a pretty one, aren't you? <laughs> wonder what this does. <laughs> So let me get this straight. If I were a dyed-in-the-wool pacifist, like you pretend to be, you would still be dragging me around by that claw, right? I don't understand why you're not happy to sacrifice yourself for the good of science. The importance of this study makes you very valuable merchandise. I am not merchandise. I don't mean to insult you. Please don't take it personally. But after you arrive, you really will find things much, much better there. <gasps> you just don't get it, do you? I'm not going anywhere! Hey, my Recizatron. That belongs to me. Hand it over, please. Mom! Joey, is that you? Hi, Mom. Are you are you all right? Oh, Joey, thank goodness you're safe. Where's your sister? She She's okay. She's in my room asleep right now. Have you seen your dad? No, but I have the ray gun. Can you make me normal size with that thing? Yeah. You mean my ray gun. You wouldn't leave me like this, would you? For a while. Don't worry about him. He's afraid of his own shadow. I'm not afraid of anything, least of all you people. Yeah, right. I captured four Balkan... Whoa! H hold on. Okay. <laughs> oh. Huh. 
Hey, come on. You're not gonna really leave me like this, are you? Uh, let's not be hasty. I know, we could work out a deal. Let's talk. Let's have a powwow. We can smoke them peace pipe. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> you did it. You did it. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> uh, come on, Mom, please. <laughs> And now for you, my arrogant little alien. If I were truly the barbarian that you say I am, wouldn't I squash you like the bug that you are? Why don't we put him in here until we know what to do with him? Oh, that's a good idea. You're gonna like your new home. Much better than your old home. Mom, you think when this is all over, I can maybe take this to school? We'll see. Oh, yeah. This could be an Air Force secret project. Yeah. This guy could be working for the Defense Department. I can feel these things. <laughs> Shrinking people, flying trees. I don't think so, JW. You mean illegal alien? So this time, you don't have to make up the story and I don't have to fake the pictures? No, this is it. This is the real deal. Uh, <sighs> if you can get a picture, and dare I say it, if I can get an interview with an alien, what a great byline. An interview with an alien by Penelope Cooper. Did we order a very small pizza? What? <clears throat> what? <clears throat> what? Hello? Oh, my God. Uh, hello. Who are you and what are you doing there? I am Minus. I am an alien. Did he say something? I think so. Did you say something? I am Minus. I come from the planet Noya in another galaxy. Did he say another planet? Wow, long delivery. Somebody's gonna be getting a free pizza here. <laughs> um, how do we know you're telling the truth? I mean, you could be a very tiny pizza delivery man. Oh, point well taken. Oh, by the rings of Jupiter. How's this, hot stuff? <gasps> I, I, I'm sorry, Mr. Noyan, uh, Mr. Oh. Minus, Mr. Alien. Uh, um, can you do us a small favor? Can we, uh... Take a picture of you. <laughs> hmm. Maybe we could make a deal, you and I. I'm all ears. Actually, from down here, it looks more like you're all. Oh, oh no, that's just an expression. I'm listening. You talk. You want my picture. I want the Hellers. Take all the two dimensional verifications of me that you like. However, afterwards, you must do exactly as I say. You got it. <laughs> Go. Got film. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, beautiful. Now, all right. Tilt your head, wet your lips. Are those your lips? All right, okay. Come on, gray boy. Jeez. Beautiful. You're a beauty. The camera loves you. And a boy. You know, Joey, this is incredible, but you, we gotta find your dad. We have to. I know. Mommy. Oh, hi, baby. Oh. No more Nintendo. <laughs> no. No more Nintendo. You should have seen Joey. He saved me. Yeah, he did, and I am so glad you're safe. Me too, Mommy, but Joey was so fast and strong, and he said he'd find you. And he did, didn't he? Mm -hmm. And you were all right. Mm -hmm. You were all right, and Joey's a hero, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, Mom. What's this? Joey, be careful. Do you know what you're doing? Sure. Uh, kind of. Maybe this is where... Um, what's his name? Oh, Minus. Yeah, maybe this is where Minus is from. You think? I don't know. Hey, let's go ask him. And we should go look for Dad and the Professor. Yeah, we better. Uh-oh. What do you mean, uh-oh? He's gone. What do you mean, he's gone? Mom, the alien's gone. Why, that sneaky little... You know something? He's not going to cause us any problems. I've got his number. Let's go find Dad. Yeah, here we are. 
stop shaking. That's right, keep going. You're getting warmer. Keep straight. Hey, keep going. Right, put me in the TV. There you go, little fella. Yes, silicon. Now to get back to work. Hey, Miney. Watch your hiney. Oh, really funny. That joke stinks just like your nasty earth breath. Does my closeness make you uncomfortable? Yes! What's he gonna do? I don't know, but he said he wouldn't hurt anyone. How do you know what he means by hurt? Freeze! Start talking before I make you the size of sesame seeds. I love sesame seeds. <laughs> You're allergic to sesame seeds. Yeah, I blow up like a balloon. Where's the alien? Uh... I don't know. Kingdom of the Amazon Queen. Joey, be careful. Settle down, John. What would Dad do? Come on, think logic. You can you can hear Mom. So you're, you're probably not even here. But the snow is real. It's cold. Virtual reality. That bubble must be like a virtual reality torpedo. How do I get out of here? There's an opening. Darn, he fought his way right out of that. Let's see if you can handle the killer worm from Planet X. Not again. What is that? I don't know. It must be some kind of virtual reality. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Come on, let's go. Nothing to see here. Mom, I need a screwdriver. Okay, we gotta get moving, Professor. We got to get moving. It's angry. Got him on the run now. The old killer worm from Planet X. That's the ticket. What if the nanobots don't stop? They have to, Professor. They, they will. If we could speak to the alien, have you ever considered? Yes, I have considered that, but I, I don't want to think about that now. Yes, you're quite right. Come, let's go. Okay. Dad! Professor, watch out! 
God in heaven, guide my hand. Yes, indeed. Nothing's happening. Is this gonna work? Well, if this thing has a brain or organs or a DNA of any kind and they're made of silicone, yes, I believe so. Give me a robot. Right, right. I'm going in. Have you gone back? That's my son out there. No glory. Well, we got rid of one of our problems. Hey. Let's see you escape from huh. the prehistoric land of the killer lizard. Nasty creature. Let's go. Job, Joseph. Oh, yeah, oh, honey. No, 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 it was nothing really. It was, you know. Like father, like son. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. No, 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 no. Thank you, sir. Because of you, my children, the nanos, are now safe. And so are your children. Yes. Wait a minute. We've still got that good for nothing alien to deal with. If he could make one of those beasts. Come on. Come on. That climb seemed a lot further than before. You idiot, that's because you're ten times smaller than you were before. Oh, my God! <laughs> what am I gonna do? I don't know what you're gonna do, but if you don't shut him up, I'm gonna slap you. Now, give me the phone. How am I supposed to drive? How am I supposed to... Oh, Let me see boy. if it works this small. That's what I mean. It's ringing. Hi, Gloria, hi. Yeah, let me speak to Larry. Uh, hi, Larry, yeah. Say hello for me. Uh, listen, the moron says hello. Hello, uh, Larry. You're not going to believe where we are right now. Yeah. Not even. Deborah Heller, come on down and let's make a deal. Don't even think about it. Joseph, will you return our visitor back to us normal size? <laughs> Much better. Now, we need to talk. If it's about the TV, well, I, uh, um... You must return to your planet and never come back to Earth. Yeah, and leave without your specimens. You know, that was some rotten trick you pulled. But no one would have actually been harmed. As the young warrior found out, it was all just virtual reality. Well, uh, that is, except for the killer worm from Planet X. And how on Noia did you defeat that? Nanorobots. And they eat silicon. Yeah, and they're real hungry, so don't even try to look at my family, or you're gonna find out what it's like to be a pizza. But I'm telling you, you really would enjoy life more on Noia. Oh, we enjoy life here on Earth just fine, thank you. At least most of the time. But, Deb, after all we've been through, and this planet, please, hello, crime runs rampant, the air is unbeatable, not enough parking, and on Noia, you get six months vacation twice a year. This is your final offer. Going, going, no. Now. 
You aren't gonna come back and try and destroy us, are you? You don't understand. It's not me you need to worry about. You are your own worst enemies. You will eventually destroy yourselves if I don't return with a specimen. <laughs> Ah, not that kind of specimen. You earthlings are ignorant and short-sighted. I'm out of here. What am I going to tell the chief scientist? There he goes, look at him. Don't come back. Don't come back. Yeah, don't let, don't let the door hit you in the buttocks. <laughs> this is so cool. Hey, Minus, could you just do us one favor? Could you drop us off at the office? I don't think he can eat. Do you think you're gonna dress like that to my Pulitzer Prize acceptance party? Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't worry, okay? Anyway, my photo's gonna be even better than your story. I'm going in tuxedo tails. JW, don't hurt yourself now, because after this, life is gonna be one big picnic. Could you just climb right up there and tell Omidas how to get us to the office? Cindy, <laughs> I have been thinking, which is something I do now and then, that perhaps it might be very appropriate if I should take us all out to dinner to celebrate. Celebrate? Yes, you know, pip pip, cheers, <laughs> eat, drink, be merry, that sort of thing, in celebration of my new assistant. Your new assistant? I'm sorry, did I say assistant? I fully intended to say partner, my new partner. <gasps> oh, that's great. Forget it. No one will ever buy that. But it's a great story. Uh-uh. Even I have standards of credibility. The readers won't go for it. But it's true. It doesn't matter. Listen, let me worry about the stories and you stick to the photographs, okay? Wow. I told you not to eat the fish. Who oh, no. You know, I never fancied myself a photographer. I always wanted to be a conductor. <sighs> so calming. Zip it and zip me, huh? Come on. Okay. I can't help it. I've always been spastic ever since I was a child. Did I ever tell you how in the third grade I got... Ah, oh, oh, boy, oh, you're stuck. Yeah, you're oh, that's your skin me. in there. I'm sorry. Ah, okay, oh, I almost got it. Let go. Like, All right, okay, I get the zipper. Go. Go. Oh. Whoa, what a woman. Was it good for you? No, you stupid, stupid man. Oh. Touche. Does that mean you're gonna let me write the story? I don't know. Please, 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 let me just tell you the headline, okay? Last Lovers in Paradise by J.W. No. And Penelope, Penelope, of course, the lovely, talented, and voluptuous Penelope. <laughs> now that has a nice ring to it. You know, maybe there is a brain in that Neanderthal skull of yours after all, J.W. Lost Lovers in Paradise by Penelope Cooper. Oh, and J.W. Well, you know, since I am the last man, maybe we could, uh, you know. <laughs> On this planet, J.W., anything's possible. Anything. of a man. Yip, 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 yay, ride em, cowboy. I owe silver and away.